Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, in this video we're going to be looking at um, the July 2015 autographs that I received. This is probably the most autograph autographs I've received in, in one month, certainly during 2015. I think there's about 12 to go through here. Some of them I got at um, conventions, so not all of them were through the mail. Um, but we'll go through, have a look at them, and I'll give you some information. Okay, so this first one is uh, Sarah Louise Madison. Sarah's best known um, I think, as one of the Weeping Angels in the series Doctor Who. Um, the Weeping Angels are awesome. They're probably one of my favourite um, sort of villains in, or bad creatures, well, are monsters, in um, in the Doctor Who series, certainly in the new Doctor Who series. Um, and Sarah played one of the Weeping Angels in this. The image I sent her, the one you can see on the screen here, is her um, sort of half made up in the Weeping Angels um, uh, makeup. She also, she's been in other bits and pieces as well. She's done, um, played a zombie in a, in, in a zombie film and a few other bits and pieces. But yeah, she's probably best known as, as one of the Weeping Angels. I sent her two pictures through the mail. Um, unfortunately, I sent her a picture of a Weeping Angel that wasn't one that she played, so she didn't sign it for me, which is fair enough, I suppose. Um, so I've only got myself to blame for that. But yeah, this is really cool. And um, and I say Sarah Louise Madison, who was one of the Weeping Angels in Doctor Who. Uh, the next autographs I got back are from Toby Jones. Uh, these are these are really awesome. I was very very pleased with these. Toby's um, career is huge at the moment. He's been in Captain America, Harry Potter, The Hunger Games, and most recently, as, as this video is being made, um, he's due to appear in the Dad's Army movie that's recently been made. That's due out very, very shortly. Um, so I sent these two images to Toby. Um, I particularly like the bottom image, which is him as Hitchcock um, from the film, I think it was called The Girl, um, where he played um, Alfred Hitchcock. Um, and was very good likeness of Hitchcock actually as well I must say so um, yeah I sent these to his agent it was a through the mail request and got these two images back um, I think the top one's Captain America and the um, the bottom one is him as Hitchcock um, with a bird on his shoulder which is really cool so I was very very happy with these responses um, from Toby the next one is from Rachel Bloom who um, is probably best known for her musical music comedy music videos, but uh, more recently as um, from the series providing voices for Robot Chicken, and also her new series Crazy Ex Girlfriend, which I think she's recently won a Golden Globe for. I, th I can't remember what it was she won. Now it was something pretty cool anyway. Um, this actually, I've, I've made a mistake here. This is received after through the mail request sent. It actually wasn't a through through the mail request. I actually sent her request via her website, um, and and got in touch with her via her contact section and asked if it was possible to get a signed picture. I didn't actually expect anything back from her, um, but I got this back and it has got a, a real signature at the bottom. It may not look particularly real in the picture here, but it, it, it is a signed picture by Rachel, which I'm really pleased about, especially as I think now her um, she's much more well known now for having done Crazy Ex-Girlfriend and for having won the award than she perhaps was when I when I wrote to her. So it was really cool to get this back from her uh, when I did. Uh, and I'm a big fan of hers as well, so I was very, very pleased to get this response from Rachel. Uh, the next response here is from a gentleman called James Green. He's, he's a fairly well-known actor. He's one of these actors where you'll recognise his face, but you may not necessarily know his name or, or picture what he's been in. Um, he was in the episode of Doctor Who, The Bells of St. John, I think is the title, someone's going to pick me up on that, I think it was called The Bells of St. John. He was in the very the very beginning introduction to the episode where he's, he plays a monk and goes down and finds Matt Smith's doctor um, hidden away in, in the abbey. So I sent him these two pictures you can see here uh, via his agent and he signed both of those for me. Um, in in Biro, which is never particularly great, it doesn't show up particularly well, but I was still really pleased to get these. He's also been in the recent um, um, BBC series The Fades as well, so he's done quite a lot. It's worth looking him up online. He's actually been in a hell of a lot of stuff, um, but I particularly wanted him for his Doctor Who um, appearance, so I got both of these signed, and it was a very quick turnaround from James as well, so that, that was really appreciated, so that was cool. Um, and the next two autographs I got were from Nell Tiger Free. Um, Nell is a fantastic actress. She had a very small part in Game of Thrones. She only appeared very briefly, um, but she she played um, the uh, daughter of um, the Lannisters, uh, Jamie and 
Oh god, my memory's shot to pieces today. So excuse Cersei Lannister and Jamie Lannister. I think this she she essentially is one of the uh, incestuous children from the relationship between uh, between Jamie and Cersei Lannister. Um, and was, uh, spoiler alert here if you've not watched uh, much of Game of Thrones, but uh, she does actually die in the series quite quickly, which is a real shame. Um, but she she hadn't appeared in it. Very, very long before I found these two images online and sent them off to her and was really, really pleased to get two responses back signed by Nell. Um, she's one of these actresses, I think, having appeared in Game of Thrones and she's she's got, you know, the sort of the package. She's a good actress. She's a very pretty girl. I think she's the sort of person who's going to go on to do quite a bit of stuff in the future. So so this is a really awesome response to get back um, again via her, her agent. Um, the next autograph here is is pretty cool. It's another one from Jen and Sylvia Soska. I've already covered them in a previous video. Directors of things like um, American Mary, See No Evil, etc. Um, they did a Kickstarter campaign for a new comic that they're producing, and I, I um, had, um, gave some money to their Kickstarter campaign and basically got this awesome sort of like A3 poster back from them for their sister sisters um, characters, and it's signed by both of them and also signed by the the artist. Um, from from their campaign as well, so so that was really cool. Uh, the next autograph I've got, perhaps a little bit dubious, I don't know. We'll we'll discuss it in a moment. But it's from Doris Day, the famous actress Doris Day, who was in Calamity Jane, The Man Who Knew Too Much, and loads and loads of other um, stuff, sort of during the the fifties, sixties, seventies, etc. Um, Essentially, Doris, via her website, says she will sign autographs, but requests a donation which goes to her charity. Um, I sent this to, I sent a request off and a donation to her charity and got this back. Sadly, it is quite badly smudged on the autograph, as you can see here. There is also some talk about the possibility of this being signed via secretary. I'm hoping that's not the case, as the fact that she actually asks for money in the first place for an autograph. If she's sending out um, pictures signed by a secretary, that's quite fraudulent and I can't imagine she would do that so the good in me wants to think that this is a real signed picture um, and I'm hoping it is uh, I can't see any reason why she wouldn't be signing them herself as she's asking for for um, donations to her charity but but yeah that's pretty cool you can go on her website um, and find the details to write to Doris there um, the next autograph is from uh, Jessica Henwick uh, Jessica's best known it from Game of Thrones she's one of the um, one of the uh, Sand Snakes, I think, is the name of the group of sisters. Uh, I can't remember the exact character name for her character, but she's also recently been in the new Star Wars Force Awakens film as well. Um, she was at London Film and Comic Con last year, 2015. Um, I met her there and asked for a signed picture. She signed this. It's really cool. It says, Dear Carl, stay loyal to Dawn and your loyalty should be rewarded, um, which is really cool. And she's uh, here's a picture of her signing. The, the autograph for me as well. She's back this year at Comic-Con, so I think I'll go back and do a photo shoot with her. She's a lovely, lovely lady. Um, but yeah, really pleased with that one. That's really cool. And another one from from a that same convention, actually, the London Film and Comic-Con 15, is the awesome Tom Savini. Um, he's an actor. He's a horror makeup artist. Um, he did the effects on uh, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, and a multitude of other stuff. You can see some of his characters here on the screen, some of the makeup that he's done. Um, so I got this this autograph from him. You can see, again, here he is signing the picture for me. Uh, I like to get pictures of them signing, so you know they've signed the picture I've got on the screen here. Um, he, he's got a reputation for not being the, the friendliest of people to meet, but I found him fine. I mean, he was quite happy to sign the autograph. Well, of course he was. He was taking a payment for it, but he seemed he seemed nice enough. So, yeah, that was really cool. And, I mean, he's, he's a legend in terms of horror films and um, an American sort of zombie films, etc. So that was really cool to get an autograph from, from Tom. Uh, and the last one that I got from um, Film and Comic Con 2015... Uh, was uh, it's actually a joint picture. I got them signed by Naomi Grossman and Erica Irvin, who who play two characters in um, in the series American Horror Story in the Freak Show series. And you'll you'll remember I've already put one from um, uh, from another actor on from American Horror Story Freak Show earlier on in the in the videos. But um, but this one's signed by Erica Irvin and um, Naomi Grossman. I got them pictures of them both signing as well as Erica signing the picture and then uh, Naomi signing as her character Pepper and I love the way she signed it with her name but also but aka Pepper and written it in the sort of crazy writing that Pepper would sign it so so that was really cool and I was very pleased to meet both of those at, at Film and Comic Con 15. 
Um, the next image, is, or the next autograph, is Judith O'Day. This is another purchase. Um, I actually sent this, I sent a request uh, via her website and then made a payment, etc., sent through the mail, because uh, I don't think she takes payments via the website. You've got to send a payment off to her. So I think I ended up slightly dubious, but I sent cash through the post. But I had to get this. It's Judith O'Day. For those who don't know, Judith played Barbara in the original George A. Romero Night of the Living Dead film. Um, and I love the picture, and she's a you know she's an iconic horror character. She played a high, iconic horror character as Barbara, um, and I love it. She signed it. They're coming to get you, Carl, which is great. You know, as a, sort of a, a spin on the they're coming to get you, Barbara. Um, um, a quote from the original film. So so this is really cool. If you go onto Judith O'Day's website, you can see all the details toward your own picture. But I absolutely had to get this one. I thought it was really cool. Um, and the very last picture for July, the very last one, um, I've already had one from this chap before, but a quite a long, long time ago, so I wrote to him again recently, is Terry Gilliam, uh, the awesome um, director, actor. Um, for me, he'll always be Terry Gilliam from Monty Python, but of course he's he's directed films like Brazil, Twelve Monkeys, and, and loads and loads of other films. Um, so I wrote to him, sent him a request, um, sent him a couple of pictures. He, I, he sent this one back. I love his autograph. It's superb with the, the pencil on it. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, I also sent him this picture, and I love this. He, he, he didn't sign on the front. He put a PTO on the front of it um, and then signed it on the back with his awesome autograph as well. So um, another really cool one to add to my, my Monty Python collection. Uh, and that's basically it for July. That was probably the longest of the, the videos that are coming up. I um, hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you again hopefully um, for the August selection.